nowadays lifestyle might lead to eye strain for a significant number of people. One of the mission of the eye care professional is to raise awareness on the impact of this visual discomfort. How does the WAM 800 can help them to be more impactful? WAM 800 integrates a new feature which enables a real-time evaluation of the patient's eye strain when focusing on nearby objects. This feature was developed to help eye care professionals in building the lens cell speech during the screening while enhancing their know-how. This short video will enable you to learn how to perform the eye strain protocol and how to read the eye strain tab. It will also allow you creating a link between eye strain and lens cell solution such as anti-fatigue. Enter the main screen as usual. Select the protocol you want to perform. Install the patient as usual and start the measurement. You can notice a simplified user interface of the main menu, which includes a more detailed phraseology to guide the operator throughout the process. You can also follow the process on the bottom part of the screen. The eye strain assessment is subjective. It requires a good collaboration of the patient. Please insist on the effort that must be done to keep the target as clear as possible. Please maintain your focus on the balloon. Try to make it as sharp as possible. It may go blurry, which is normal, but make the effort to keep it as sharp as possible. What is actually happening on the patient's side? The balloon is getting closer in several steps from infinity until the patient cannot provide any more visual effort. At the end of the process, the results are immediately displayed. Let's review the data and see how it can be used as an education tool about eye strain and how it can support anti-fatigue lens category. As the simulated eye strain feature was developed to support anti-fatigue category, we will focus on the relevant information on this tab. The bar represents the visual effort provided by the patient during the test from far to near vision. We notice three different zones. In green, sharp acuity and comfortable focus. In yellow, risk of visual fatigue if continuous effort. In orange, visual fatigue and risk of blurred vision. Let's now review three typical cases the eye care professional might face in his everyday job. Case one, patient with comfortable focus zone. In this case, we notice a comfortable zone from far to intermediate distance, the green zone, then a risk of visual fatigue in near vision, and finally a visual and or risk of blurred vision under approximately 20 centimeters. This patient should be comfortable at any distance while wearing the right correction. Case two, patient with the limited comfortable focus zone. In this case, we notice a larger zone of risk of visual fatigue starting around 1 meter until 50 centimeters. A visual fatigue is starting at 50 centimeters. This indicator of eye fatigue can help the eye care professional to start talking about the different type of lenses that would be the most appropriate. In any case, this first indication must be confirmed during the subjective refraction. Case 3 patient with a permanent eye strain at every distance. In this case, the whole bar is orange, meaning that the patient has visual strain and or risk of blurred vision at every distance. After determining the subjective refraction, this patient may need progressive lenses. Please, remember this test is subjective and requires the patient collaboration. This case could also represent a misunderstanding of the test by the patient who didn't or couldn't maintain the balloon as sharp as possible at any distance. This eye strain feature is a tool for education purpose only in order to raise patient's awareness. This indication is aiming to help the eye care professional building his lens speech and address the most appropriate category of lenses.